Hey everybody, welcome to another Chef Knives to Go a quick look product review. And what we've got right now is the Nakagawa Ginsan Kiritsuke 210mm knife. Uh, these knives are very well crafted. They have uh, their double bevel and uh, the style is uh, three, layer or three layer construction. You can see a line right in here. It's a little hard to tell on the camera, but it's a little more obvious in person. So we can show right there. So this is the cladding, and then it goes, gives way to the core steel. And again, these are double bevel knives. So there's your cladding, there's your core steel. So this is all stainless. You've got what's known as Ginsan or Silver 3 or Ginsanko uh, stainless steel, which is a fine grain conventional steel. It sharpens up great. will take a really nice wicked edge if you do your part. Uh, the construction is soft stainless cladding on either side of that core steel, so it's all stainless knife. You can easily see where the grind starts on these. It's right where that visual delineation is towards the edge. Interesting kind of a grind towards the tip as well. It's a very interesting geometry on these. Uh, weight and dimensions can vary a little bit, but this particular one is 162 grams or 5.7 ounces. Heat treat on that uh, Ginsan stainless is about 6061 Rockwell. Handles are kind of a Pretty standard octagonal Wenge wood handle with a black buffalo horn ferrule. And you got a nice tight fit and finish on there. Uh, you've got a little bit of the tang showing. Sometimes people call this Tokyo style, but you've got, that's not a, an accident or anything. It's just a dis, this, uh, decision made on the aesthetics on this. So they left a little bit of that gap there that's on purpose. Nothing wrong with that. Old, stool, old school style handle install. Edge length is right about 200 millimeters on this and about 7.9 inches and the overall length about 350 millimeters. Spine thickness wise you just have some uh, thickness of the spine and they're also uh, pretty stiff. The spine actually kind of comes to a point. It's almost a triangular spine but thickness wise it's about 3.3 uh, at the back of the heel and then I got about 2.3 halfway down and pretty much holds that, maybe gets a little bit thinner. Then you hit the corner there at the turn, and then you can really see where the grind starts coming in towards the tip. And we'll get the camera to focus here. So our tip's nice and thin. And then the back of the blade, it's a not a tall blade, so you're gonna have a pretty aggressive geometry there, but it gets nice and thin at the edge. You can definitely feel that and you can see it, it's very easy to see. Fit and finish is really nice. Again, they've taken the spine and they've actually beveled it so it's like a triangle at the top kind of, and a little bit around it at the top. They've done a nice job polishing the back of the choil into the neck, so really nice fit and finish. Out of the box edge on this is kind of meh. I'll give it five out of 10. There's not a whole lot of an edge bevel on this, so you might want to sharpen this out of the box and put, it, put your own edge on it. Again, they didn't do much finish work on the edge on it. Uh, again, excellent grinds, nice Kasumi style handcrafted finish on this. Just beautiful work. So you've got some etched kanji on the right side of the blade. You can see kind of an angled finish to it. Really nice Kasumi finish, old school style. You can see that facet there where it's ground down towards the tip. Again, almost like a triangular shape towards, towards it. Got some uh, more deeply etched, uh, kind of almost embossed kanji on this side. You can feel that with your fingers, so it's embossed into the metal. Really pretty, really pretty knife. Balance point. I don't think I did that yet. It's about right there. So a little bit handle heavy, but it's not a really big blade. Uh, height about 42.3 millimeters, so typical kind of a lower height. Uh, kids case style which is traditional style so not very tall let's take a look at the cutting board profile on this guy all right so here's what it looks like and this one's pretty flat so you can see the tips pretty low towards the center line a little bit of belly towards the tip um this isn't gonna rock real well uh, tip wants to dig in about right there so you could rock over small stuff uh, you know scallions and the like small things uh, but pretty flat towards the entire back half, 40% about right there. So it just flows into a pretty definitive stop. Boom. So this will definitely chop like crazy. Push pull cuts, glide cuts, tip draws would be super easy on this. You don't have to lift a 